Hey everyone, it's Monica. Welcome back to Because Jesus Bible Journaling. Does anyone else feel like it is beginning to look a lot like winter? I do. I feel like it's getting really cold and I'm looking forward to Christmas and all of that. So this is going to be part three, the final part of my Bible journaling with paint sample cards. And today I'm finally getting to use this beautiful paint sample card that has greens and grays and whites on it. It just inspired me almost instantly to do sort of a winter scene. And I'm jumping into Isaiah here, chapter 55. And there's some verses here about snow and about the word of God. And it's just amazing. So Isaiah 55 verses 9 through 11 is where I chose to focus. And I'll talk about those verses a little bit more as we go along. So basically here, I'm journaling on a page before where the Bible verse was. This is a Bible called My Promise Bible, and it has some artwork in it already. And so the page where I wanted to journal already had some artwork in it. So I just flipped one page previous, and I'm going to do my little Bible journaling stuff in the margin on that page. And at the end, you'll see me draw a little whoop de doo arrow to just sort of signify that the verse I'm journaling is actually on the following page. So basically all I'm doing is cutting this little paint card down to size and I'm just going to be using my glue stick to stick it into the Bible. This is just an Elmer's school glue stick and it's just going to affix to the page perfectly. One thing I've really been enjoying is just this is such an easy process, an easy way to jump into your Bible and just sort of experiment, maybe even a great idea for a first Bible journaling page ever. Now I wanted to do a test here on the scrap piece from this paint card and make sure that this little pen was going to work, my little white pen, because I wanted to do some snowflakes. So snowflakes are not too hard. You do a plus sign and then do an X the other way. And then you can just kind of play around with adding these little carrots, these little V-shaped lines to the ends or to the center of different lines on your snowflake. And then I just added a few little stars and then a few little polka dots as well. And then I knew I wanted to add some sort of evergreen trees to this little paint card as well. So I'm experimenting over here using a Sharpie just on a piece of scratch paper. Now I don't ever use Sharpies on the Bible page, but because I'm going to be doing this artwork on top of the paint sample card, it's not going to bleed through the page. It's not going to ruin my Bible or anything. So I get to use Sharpies today, which is pretty fun. So these little evergreen trees are basically just zigzagging the pen back and forth and it just gives the look of these little unique trees. None are the same, no two are alike, but you can kind of sneak some in to the background. You can kind of sneak some in along the edge and pretty soon you've got just this little forest, this little friendly forest going in the margin of your Bible. And so that's the direction I was taking this. And then as you saw earlier, I am going to go ahead and begin adding some snowflakes to the sky here and just turning this into a little winter wonderland. Now, as you watch me draw these little snowflakes, I do want to read verses 9 through 11 of Isaiah 55. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain and the snow come down from heaven... And do not return there, but water the earth, making it bring forth and sprout, giving seed to the sower and bread to the eater. So shall my word be that goes out from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I purpose and shall succeed in the thing for which I sent it. And I just love that idea that these snowflakes, the rain that falls from the sky is just like the word of God. It doesn't return and do nothing it actually comes to our earth and it nurtures everything and it waters everything and it gives everything life. And that is just the way that God's word is in our life. When we go ahead and invite God's word into our life, it never returns void. It never just leaves without changing us. It always changes us. And this is how the New Living says it. The New Living says, it is the same with my word. I send it out and it always produces fruit. 
And I just think that's such a great way of saying it as well. So taking some time to be in God's word is so worth it, you guys. What are some of your favorite passages lately that you've been reading and journaling in? What are some of the favorite thoughts that the Lord is giving you this winter as the days get shorter and we just kind of bundle up and get cozy if we're in the Northern Hemisphere at least? What is the Lord showing you? I would love to hear all about it down in the comments section below and share these pages that you're creating over in our Facebook group. I'd love to see that. Try out these little evergreen trees. Try out some snowflakes. Isaiah 55, 9 through 11, great spot in your Bible to do a little winter Bible journaling. Hey, I just want to let you know that the tabs that you are seeing in this Bible are kind of Bible category tabs, and I do have those available over in my Etsy store. They're not Book of the Bible tabs, but they're category tabs, so they help me when I'm reading navigate through what section of the Bible I'm actually in. It kind of puts things into context and helps me along in my journey through the Word of God. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below. Do you love the snowflakes or what? I thought they turned out really, really fun. Go visit me on Facebook. You can also join my Patreon. That's a way to support my Bible journaling ministry and also get yourself some exclusive things only for my patrons. So you can check that out as well. Jump into the word of God for yourself today. It is amazing and I will connect with you guys next time. Bye-bye.